We brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Have you seen him? No. Not exactly seen him. We well, must come back here sometimes. I wouldn't bet on it, old son. God blow me, he lives here. I doubt that. I doubt it very much. Oh, you said you was going to keep an eye open for him. Yeah, I did, old son, and I meant it. You better sit down. Sometimes, on occasions such as this, I'm asked to say a few words about the person we mourn. Now, I did not know David Callan but his friends have provided me with some notes about him. I have been asked to read them to you. Oh, God blame it. I didn't even bring any flowers. From what I have been told, it must have been a privilege and a pleasure. His life was sedentary, as indeed it had to be. Sedentary and solitary too. The weak heart, which finally took him away from us, forbade any physical exertion. He worked patiently and uncomplainingly as a clerk in a humble employment. And may I say how good it is to see so many of his friends and colleagues here today. Not rich, often ill, he accepted his lot, living a life of quiet usefulness. The law-abiding citizen who refused to succumb to the temptations of these turbulent Mr. times. Cannon. Not for him the violent passions and so-called pleasures that do so much to mar the image of our generation. This was a gentle man, always willing to help others, doing good by stealth. A man of peace. Mr. Callan? A man who can meet his maker, as our prayer book says, in the sure and certain hope of resurrection. For gentleness and goodness Though they may be unfashionable, yet still they merit a great and everlasting reward. Oh, God blimey. They're burying the wrong geezer. I think perhaps these people have a saying, never kill the goose that lays the golden egg. At least not until he has no more eggs to lay. He's coming round. Morning, David. Enjoy your trip. Yes, you are still in Lubyanka. Still under interrogation. As was this bird. One of your up killed her. Have you still got me on sc sc scopolamine? Scopolamine. It's a slow process, but a sure one. Unfortunately, it could destroy you at the same time. Yeah, I know. Yes, of course, you know. You've seen it done. You know, everything would be much more easy if you'd simply tell us. Oh, no, no, no. And you would not be destroyed. You might even live in modest comfort. We have birds in our country too, David. Quite pretty birds, some of them. Yes, stuffs. Hmm? Prevaliers. Get stuffed. 
Lebedev is very impulsive, David. I am not. I can wait. Think about it. We will be back, you know, quite soon. Think about that, too. Yeah. Stuffs. For as much as it hath pleased Almighty God of his great mercy to take unto himself the soul of our dear brother here departed. We therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change the body of our low estate so long, Mr. that it Callum. may be like unto his glorious body. That could make a problem. Callan's friend lonely, a problem? Yeah, well, it's a possibility. Eh? You really think so? Now that Callan is... Well, you and I know that he's not. Only you and I know. And Dr. Snell, who signed the death certificate. And you think that lonely might suspect? Well, he was in the chapel, he heard the vicar's address. I expect that'll equate with the Callan he knew. A gentle man, a man of peace. These little artistic tricks could be the death of me. We give thee hearty thanks for that it hath pleased thee to deliver this, our brother, out of the miseries of this sinful world. Amen. And yet I can see you might find the irony of the situation appealing. Callan, where am I going to go? Stafford. Sir? A little work for you, I fear. Yes, sir? I want a tail on that little man. Round the clock. Well, lonely. You are observant, Cross. Well, surely he's harmless now, isn't he, sir? Four men watch, Stafford. Bring in when he settles on and I'll send them over. Sooner you than me, old man. Like telling a sewage farm. Is the time? Chessmen? They could be. Hmm. Napoleonic War, are they not? Crimea. Very interesting. What's this one? 17th Lancer. Light Brigade. Our artillery destroyed them. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This one is a Grenadier Guard. He and a few of his mates stormed the Grand, Grand Redoubt at the Alma. Walked right through your lot. That one is a Scots Grey. He and 800 of his mates dispersed 3,000 Russian cavalrymen at Balaclava. And there's a ratio of odds of uh, four to one. Bloody sight like better odds than I've got. You wouldn't dare. Well, there's one way to find out. And... Lebedev is very new to this sort of thing. He has a lot to learn still. He would kill you and count the moment sweet. Whatever we did afterwards, you would still be dead. Isn't that right, David? You're a psychiatrist. Always you remind me of my duty. Put the knife down, please. Mm. 
More questions, David. More boring, monotonous questions. Good luck, Mr. Heath. You know, David, you are destroying yourself for no reason. Wait, what do you mean, no reason? Well, your yeah. grenadier and your Scots guard they had mates, didn't they? Friends they could rely on, but you have nobody. I, I nobody, have, nobody got, at I've... all, David. No friends, no colleagues, no controller. I'm sorry if this might come as a bit of a shock to you, but they've rejected you totally. Yesterday they even buried you. What do you mean they buried me? Here's your grave, David. At least they provided a headstone with a little taste. You could be at rest, David, so easily. Rest. Hot bath. Nice meal in a restaurant. A little friend. You faked it. <laughs> now, why on earth should we? Let me talk. Give him an injection. In three weeks' time, David, we will have all we need. And you, if your heart is strong enough, will only be insane. Not all the grenadiers and Scots guards in the world will help you then. Ready? Yes, I think so. Now, David, uh, we were talking last about a friend of yours. His name was Toby Meris. Meris? Oh, Meris, yes, sir. No, he wasn't a friend of mine. What was he? A new colleague. At your work? Yeah. What sort of work? Civil service. The section, David. Meers is in the section. No, he left. Promoted? I, I don't know. Now, where did he go, David? Where? Well, Washington. Is he senior to you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't <laughs> wish to insult you. I'm top man. <laughs> top man. I, I get all the dangerous jobs, all the rotten jobs. Well, when you're top man, you expect to, don't you? I mean, you just expect to if you. This is very interesting, David. We're getting along splendidly. I wish you'd talk about something else. I'm sorry, Auntie. It's on my mind. Then get it off your mind. Down that bloody morbid the way you go on. I can't help it. Of course you can help it. Look, you went round to his gaff, right? Right. The milkman told you he was dead, right? Right. Then you went to his funeral, all his posh mates was there, and you saw the coffin, right? Right. What more do you want, then? His life insurance? Oh, no. Tea, please. No. Look, Arnie, it's, it's not that. What the hell is it, then? Look, Mr Callan would never have got me without telling me. Oh, my God. You think he can pick and choose when he's going to die? No. But there's all that stuff to pass and said about Mr Callan being a man of peace. Go blimey, you wouldn't expect him to say he was a tear away you met in the neck. You've got to show some respect for the dead. Yeah, but this bloke really meant it. His posh mates must have slipped him a few nicker. You can't do that. Not with a reverend. What? Do, do you know what I think? No, but let's have it. I think they buried the wrong geezer. Oh, my God. Think I should go and see the law? No, I do not. But, Auntie, there's a sergeant I know. He's not bad for a rosa. I could talk to him. Now, you listen to me, Lonely. You stay away from the coppers. You start calling on them and you'll get yourself talked about, and me and all. Yes, sir? Who's on duty, Liz? Mr Cross, sir. Now, sir. That's any man. Driving a lorry in your spare time? Watching lonely, sir. And? He doesn't think it's Callum in that grave, sir. Indeed. Because of all the nice things that parson said, sir. Yeah. Sit down. Yes, sir. Send Cross in. What's he going to do about it? Talking about going to the police, sir. Lonely? His auntie talked him out of it, sir. Well, that's good as far as it goes. Can we always rely on auntie? Sir? Come in, Cross. I've got a job for the pair of you. Yes, sir? Lonely. I want you to stave him off. Ah, uh, hurt him, sir? 
As much as is necessary. I'm busy, Liz. It's Mr. Bishop, sir. Right. Hunter. I think it's time we picked up Richmond. Excuse me, sir. That is not what had been agreed. Nevertheless, they believe it's time. It has been decreed, Hunter. Very good, sir. At once. Let me know when your chaps are on their way. Mm. Learn we'll have to wait. I want you to pick up Richmond. Richmond? I thought it was a, a surveillance-only job, sir. So did I. It seems we were both wrong. But if we give him another week, I think... Bishop we wants him now. So go and get him. Take a searcher. George, if he's free. And be careful. Richmond's good. Best they've got. Yes, sir. And try to avoid any bangs. I want him intact. He has a great deal to tell us. Right off you go. Hunter, my chaps are on their way. Good. I want him in good nick. I've given them their instructions. Good. Keep him on ice till tomorrow. I'll look in in the morning. There is one other thing. Well? Lonely. Go on. Seems I could be right about him. I see. You're taking steps? No, oh, yes. He'll be attended to. You at the front, me at the back. What if it's wired? Oh, one thing I say for Callan, he could do a lovely uh, breaking and entering. Lucky he taught you. Get on with it. Yes? Sorry to bother you, sir. I'm from the census office. Yes? If I might just come in, have a word with you, sir. I'm sorry, it's not convenient at the moment. Well, it's in your own best interest, sir. This um, form has got to be signed. Leave it with me. I'll post it to you. said not to use them. You should have told him, shouldn't he? Evening, George. Take a good look round, will you? Hate to think this is all we've got. Tokarev Automatic. Well, I'm surprised. Yes, sir. Just as well you hit him. Right. Go and attend to Lonely. Yes, sir. I'll see him. Oh. Is he conscious? Yes. And? Well, he's young and strong, and he's been well trained to resist interrogation techniques. I shall need two weeks at least. Unless we resort to extremes. Would you like me to do that? No, 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 no. no. Mustn't be damaged. Ah, I see. Are you thinking of, um... I'm thinking that Richmond has a great deal to tell us, that is all. But you don't want him damaged? Not yet. Montezuma. Nine of all favourite. You must be joking. That's got no chance, not with that bloody great nana on its back. 
Now, the 100 to 8, that could be a very fair bet. Oh, go, just when I started working. Come on, Barry, we know you're in there. Ah, oh, bloody rusers. Wanting to go and nick a few motorists. All right, I'm just coming. Good evening. No, look, you're wasting your time. I ain't got nothing. Such a vile case of beer, though. Oh, it's a start, shows he's scared. So he should be, huh, Landy? You've seen me before, haven't you? Who <laughs> weird. Who with, Lonely? Mr. Cannon. Mr. Cannon, yeah. Only Mr. Cannon's dead, isn't he? Say that, Lonely. Mr. Cannon is dead. Mr. Cannon is dead now. Oh, you don't believe it, do you? Right. Hello, Stinker. We want to know why. <coughs> well? Well, just because all that stuff a parson said. I mean, that didn't sound like Mr. Cannon, not me, it didn't. Well, you just forget what the parson said. You listen to what I say. Callan is dead, all right? I know he's dead. You thought I'd tell us you croaked him? Yeah, maybe. God, don't believe you. Why not, Lenny? Because you ain't up to it. <laughs> oh! Oh, have you ever played Russian roulette, Lonely? What? Oh, it's better than the horses. You play for your life. Are you going to shoot me? Yeah, maybe. Wait. You have four empty, you see, and one loaded. You spin the barrel. And then you fire. No, no. It's four to one, Lonely. Life or death. No! For God's sake! Shut up! You were lucky that time, weren't you, Lonely? Let's try it again. No, please, please. I've never done nothing to you, mister. Hey, there's two to you and none to me. Let's make it the best of three, shall we? No, please, look, what do you want? I'll, I'll say anything you Mr. want. Mr. Callan is dead, Lonely. You know he's dead. What will you say, mister? I do say so. Now, I want you to say it. Mr. Callan is dead. And you won't go around telling people he's not? No, of course I won't. Honest. Cross my heart. Hope. Exactly. Oh, for God's sake, we're all of them. With a blank. Don't waste live rounds on Lonely. He's had an hour. Quite enough to begin with. Pentathol can be tricky. Well? He admits he's Richmond. Oh, good. For the moment, that's as far as we've got. I want more, Doctor. A great deal more. I wouldn't advise it. Not at once. How soon? Oh, three hours. Four would be better. Three. Then work to the limits of safety. You always expect me to perform miracles. My dear Doctor, if you couldn't perform miracles, you wouldn't be working for me. You were having a nightmare, I think. Bad one? Yes. Bad enough. About these brave fellows? They were coming and there were thousands of them. There were thousands of them. They were just killing them and killing them and they were still coming and us. Me deep in blood! Nearly done for me, haven't you? Haven't you? This is the day I've been waiting for, David. The day when I could break you. Do you think I will? I know you'll have a damn good try, but I can't promise anything. Be honest, David. It's inevitable. Just a little more scopolamine and we'll get it all. The organization, targets, signals, codes. We will get it all. And you will begin to be ill. Very ill. In a mental hospital in Russia. In your grave in England. Now, 
Why don't you just tell us without the injection? No. No, no. You know I must do this, don't you? Yeah, I know, I know. And why fight me? Because I must. Yes. In an hour's time, David, everything will be ready. I told you, I told you specifically, I don't want him damaged. He won't be. He's been all right on pentothal. Snell knows what he's doing. I hope so, Hunter. For both your sakes. Now, look, his flat's been searched. We found radio equipment and a list of targets. Very senior targets. One of them was you. He's going to kill me. No. Frame you. Good God. KGB are really getting extremely naughty. And my thoughts exactly, so why be nice to him? I think you know why. Callum? Callum. But this man is senior to Callum. And he has a damn sight more to tell us. Hunter, we faked a funeral to stop their mouths. If they put Callum in a show trial, we could say that he was a fake. There had been a Callum, but he was dead. We could show the grave even contains a body. Why? Well, it had to look right. Of course it did. He did so many jobs, so many successful jobs. He was the best killer we ever had. If they put him on trial, he could blacken us for a decade, sir. So we buried him. Well, he'll be hard to replace, I agree. Mm, I don't want him replaced. I want him back. For Richmond? That won't be much of a bargain. Has it never occurred to you that Callum may be rather more than just a killer? Yes, but I don't think it's occurred to Callum. And he's a difficult man to handle. Oh, all the good ones are. You suppose that Richmond isn't difficult? I think Callan is almost as good as Richmond. Callan bungled that job in East Germany. If he hadn't, the KGB wouldn't be holding him now. Mm, I've seen the reports. Just bad luck. You want an exchange? I'm going to have one. Now, I feel I must make a formal protest against this, sir. Oh, please do, and I shall formally ignore it. I'd like to have another look at him. Of course. And not in that filthy lab up here. We'll send out for some coffee, some decent china. What, what time is it? Time. No talk. Lunch time, Callum. What's this then? Your lunch. Eat. What are you going to do? Take it away as soon as I stick my fork in it? I think we'll agree we're a bit more subtle than that. You don't like steak? Of course I like steak. Why don't you eat then? Like me also to try the wine? Yes, yes, I would. Yeah. Now, what do you eat? I'll eat it if you tell me why I get steak all of a sudden. Your sentence is under review, Captain. What are you talking about, sentence? I haven't been tried yet. That's what I've been told to tell you. Now, eat. <laughs> you know, this service is terrible. Steak's bloody tough. <laughs> How is he? Remarkably well, sir. All things considered, you have a very talented little head shrinker, Mr. We'll dispense with names, I think. As you wish. You really are extremely talented. Thank you. I should like very much to kill you. Yes, yeah, so many people would. It's much easier than answering questions. How long can we have him, Doctor? Half an hour, sir. Then he really should go and have some rest. All right. Off you go. Rest? Do you know I got the impression he was in a hurry? He was. How much did I tell him? Now, you can't seriously expect us to answer that. There will be more questions? No. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Is that a Russian expression? Aha uh -huh is international, surely. It means many things. 
But this time? This time it means, I think it means, that you wish to exchange me. That is exactly what it means. I hope he's worth it, this gentleman. He's worth it. Now, you noticed that your interrogation ceased this morning? I noticed. Well, sit down. Have some more coffee. No, thank you. The coffee in England is terrible. <laughs> The lab is working all right? Yes, fine, fine, thank you. They look really healthy, aren't they? Nice Riviera suntan. That's the idea. Sorry to disturb you. Not at all. Come in, make yourself at home. Thank you. Would like a glass of wine? You're most kind. Oh, it's only the local muck, I'm afraid. Not much body to it, you know. Still, it's got quite a nice bouquet. What the hell? Bless you, I will... No, you won't. You won't do anything, will you, mate? There is a swap on, right? You will be back. Not even to kill you, sweetheart. <laughs> Sinky. Yes. Why, uh, why three tickets, sir? You take one man out, bring another man back. So may we ask who, sir? Alan used to say that I played God. Perhaps he was right. You're going to assist at a resurrection. I'm not with you, sir. Callan didn't die. What about the, uh, the funeral, sir? Well, we buried someone, I agree, but it wasn't Callan. And the death certificate? Snail signed it. Heart failure. Correct as far as it goes. Anyone's heart fails, we put a bullet in it. But why, sir? Callan was sent on a mission to East Germany. Their intelligence got him, handed him over to KGB. Now he's coming back. For Richmond? Yeah? Well, that's a bit of a waste, isn't it? We could have got a lot out of Richmond, sir. We did get a little. And you have your orders crossed. And I have mine. I see. Yes, I think you do. But Callan comes back alive and well. And what happens to me, sir? What happens to any of us? We do what we are told to do. I'll take no excuses for failure, Cross. Yes, sir. Right, sit down. Now, there's an agreed drill for the exchange. The KGB and ourselves have worked it out in detail. You'll take Richmond to the St. Christopher Hotel, Helsinki. Hmm? Suite 207. There's a drawing room and a bedroom on either side of it, right? Now, you will take the bedroom furthest from the lift. You know, you really did upset my colleague. <laughs> you blame me. Oh, blame. Blame implies guilt and innocence. These words do not apply in our world, David. Yes. Hmm. Souvenirs of your little holiday? Mind if I take these? Why not? You can make some more next time. Except there won't be a next time. I've told you before, David, we're very patient here. We can wait. I've told you before. I'm not coming back. I think you underestimate yourself. Well, I'll never underestimate you, mate. Oh, by the way, there was a charge against you. Oh, yeah? What was it? Oh, espionage, terrorism, sabotage. Uh, the penalty is 25 years. Does he still stand? Uh, no, your superior insisted it be dropped. There's no charge against our man, you see. Well, we both uh, start with a clean slate, don't we? Clean? What very odd words you use. Time to go. I can't say I'll miss it. Well, where do I go first? Helsinki. You better take this. It's rather cold at this time of the year. We don't want you catching flu. Goods were returned in mint condition, eh? Exactly. <laughs> Au revoir. You keep trying, mate, don't you? Goodbye. Enjoy your freedom while it lasts. Have you ever been to Helsinki? Not since 1960. I was with the embassy there. These days, I never leave Moscow. Indeed, I hardly leave Lubyanka. You want to watch it, mate? You're getting into a rut.
either of you two gentlemen care for a drink? You know, uh, how's your father, hmm? Get to miss this stuff, you know. How long we got? How long? Well, what do we do now, then, eh? Play strip poker? Just a little capitalist joke I thought up. Don't all laugh at once. Don't you two ever say anything? care to uh, join me in a drink? No, thank you. Oh, please. You did both give me your duty-free allowance, after all. Our pleasure. Surely you can help me celebrate? No, thank you. Don't you want your colleague back? We want a little quiet, Mr. Richmond. A little quiet? How long? Nineteen minutes. I shall try not to make too much noise when I swallow. Not bad, is it? Mind you, I have plenty of time to practice. Still, it's not bad. What do you two do when you're happy? Burst into tears. Oh. Uh-huh. Right. Right, James, lead on. Don't forget, keep your hands in sight. better than me. No talking, Cullen. Oh, come on, don't start already. We got a lot in common. No one going to introduce us? Too much. My name is Richmond. That's Cullen. I'm very pleased to see you. Me, you. You're well. I'm now, yes. You? Very well. Not many people know exactly what they're worth, do they? You and I know. Oh, we do now, yeah. Sorry we can't have a drink together. Well, maybe some other time. Maybe. Look, uh, you move to your left, I'll move to my left, all right? Goodbye. So long. Thanks. Don't mention it. Mm. Don't take a trip to Russia. They give you a very good haircut. Well, anybody want a drink? No, thanks. I don't. Well, you do, James. Get a glass. What's the matter? This a wake or something? No, we've had that. We had yours. Excuse me if I'm being sensitive. Is something bothering you? Yes, something is bothering me. You bother oh, me. Oh, I see. You have my job, is that it? I come back like a ghost on a haunt. Only I don't believe in ghosts, Mr. Cullen. Believe in me, lad, don't you? I've haunted him before. We'll leave here in five minutes. We go out quietly 
and we don't quarrel. Yeah, that suits me. You got any luggage? Well, only the stuff that I was picked up with in East Germany. Porter downstairs is looking after it. Oh, baggage tag here. You got a gun for me? Oh, are you nervous? Yes, son, I'm nervous. You've got some of the best killers in the world out there. They don't cheat on exchanges. There is always a first time, lad. I do not want it to be me, so shut up and give me a gun. Take a look through your luggage. Oh, I stood over them while I packed it. Is that your idea? Yes. You didn't like it much, I had to lump it. I really want Richmond back. Hi, right, let's go. Callan, not a bogeyman in sight. Oh, wait. Come on, Charlie's waiting. Have we got another car? Yes, over there. Don't worry, it's going to follow us. Right, you get that car to take my luggage to George's lab. What's the matter? You're scared they put a bomb in it? Better do as he says, James. followed. Oh, come on. How could they know where you were? You ever heard of a bleeper? Yeah, you sent your luggage to the lab then. I know, son. That's what worries me. Pull in this phone box just here. Jaguar 4.2 in Felpermine Street, license number UBY614F. Four big fellas inside. Is that our business, sir? It will be. They're going to do a bank. They're now travelling along on the A316 towards London. What? Who's calling, please? Well, it's just a friend. And look, you better watch it, mate. They've got shooters. Aren't our policemen still wonderful? <laughs> David. Oh, David. <laughs> Hello, Liz. You really are back. You know, Mr. Hunter told me, and I, I just couldn't believe it. Yeah, well, it's not bad for a dead man, is it? No, and you look very well. Oh, it's nice to see you, David. Nice to see you. I'll go and see his nibs. I'll be back in a minute, all right? It was a bit like a plucked chicken. <laughs> well, look, Alan. You look better than I expected. Well, they told me I was dead. I didn't believe it. Well, we couldn't risk a show trial, so we put you in your grave. Yeah, tell me, is there a body in it, sir? Oh, yes, of course. Just in case we needed an exhumation order, you know? Yeah. Well, the section never had any trouble in finding bodies, did it? No, we've been pretty lucky so far. Now, Cross says you think you were followed. I know I was. Oh, we sent your luggage to George. He says it's clean. He found no bleeper. It must be on me, then. Look through that. Huh? Oh, I see. 
must be here somewhere. I know it is. I know it. Yeah, unless you imagined it. Yeah, that's all they can. It's here. Right, it's here. Right, thank you for letting me know. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Souvenir of your holiday. You cunning bastard. There we are. Nice little homing device. Through me, straight to Charlie. Right, you believe me now? Oh, I believe you. The men in the car behind you belong to the Russian trade delegation. Are they armed, sir? We never know. They claim diplomatic immunity. Well, it's nice to have you back, Callum. Thank you, Cross. Stafford. You go. Yeah. Sit down, David. <sighs> Tough, was it? The worst. A uh, bloke there, he could have been Snell's twin brother. Use violence? No, not much. Scopolamine. Oh, dear. I didn't give any big stuff away. I know I didn't. An exchange came through just in time. There's something I must tell you. I wanted to keep Richmond. I was not allowed to. I see. I try to be honest with you when I can. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, how was the funeral? Who was there? All of us. All dry-eyed? Oh, Liz cried. Yeah. Well, Liz would, wouldn't she? I think your friend Lonely cried, too. Blimey, you didn't invite him, did you? I doubt if he'd been invited anywhere in his life, do you? No, no, he just came and was rather a nuisance. In what way? He refused to believe in your death until... Somebody put a scare into him? Exactly. And who did that? over Callan, over and done with. Bloody waste of time, though, wasn't I it? I don't follow you. Right, somebody scares the daylights out of Lonely. They make sure he believes I'm dead, and here I am alive. Oh, but he's still scared. May be useful in the future. <sighs> yeah. Right, well, what happens next? Oh, holiday, I think. Good food, fresh country air, little exercise, little debriefing. That, too. And then what? Well, then we'll see. Well, there's a car waiting to take you now. I'll come down and see you when I can. OK. Oh, do you mind if I take a small detour? Where? Well, to see my grave, of course. Oi! At rest. That'll be the day, mate. That'll be the day.